Hi, welcome to the Ruckus Feature Explainer Series. I'm Terry Henry. Uh, today we're going to talk about um, Ruckus Unleashed and uh, setting up Mesh on, on Unleashed. Uh, so I think before we get to that, uh, let's talk about the topology I'm going to build. Is um, I'm going to have my master AP, um, which is uh, which is a wrap, uh, and then I will have two different uh, members right so this is my root ap my wrap is my root ap which is the root because it's connected to a um to an ethernet to a physical network uh, and then the maps are connected via mesh uh to the to the wrap um there could be uh you know multiple routes off of this wired connection um there could also be e meshes if you've got an ethernet to ethernet connection uh to another ap it could be an e mesh but just to keep it simple i have two maps connecting to my wrap uh now uh what a lot of people don't understand about mesh is that um it is it is a um uh serious throughput degradation as you get away from your root AP, right? So, um, for example, if my root AP is capable of 300 megabits of throughput, um, as we go down, I'll hop away from the root AP. It's a, um, it's two hops, right? So it's one over two. So it's, so it's, um, so it's 50%. Uh, or half of the 300 megabit, so it's 150 megabits of throughput. The next one, the third hop away, is one divided by three, uh, so therefore we get 50 megabits, right? So it's a, so it's um, you divide that out, and so as you go to the next hop, it's one over four, etc. So um, so you know you can see the available bandwidth declines very quickly in a mesh as you get away from that root. So the the golden rule is the less hops you you can possibly have the better, right? So you want um, everything to be a root or just one or two hops away at the most. Any more than that, and and you're looking for trouble. But nonetheless, uh, if you if you need to mesh for whatever reason, then it's a fairly easy thing to set up. So let's have a look at how that works. So we have um, a factory um, fresh AP ready to go here, right? So we're sitting at the Unleash Wizard uh, running 200.8 in this case. Um, so we will do typical install. Um, and then uh, there's a, the, so you can give it a name, whatever you want to name it. So, uh, and then the mesh box, right? So, so really the important thing is when you turn on mesh here, there's no way to turn it off other than factory defaulting, right? So you want to turn it on here. It's asking you for uh, ESSID. So this is an SSID that uh, the other mesh APs will use to connect to this one. Uh, and then a passphrase. So you can generate a new one. You can put in a manual if you wish to do that. But this is basically how the um, how the mesh APs are going to communicate within each other. Uh, so um, we will say next to that. Um, and then, you know, you could do the usual DHCP or manual to set up your your IP address on your uh, on your access point. I'm going to manually configure that. You can certainly say DHCP if you want, but I, I do it manually. I want to know where they are and I never want them to change. Um, so I've set up a manual IP, default gateway, DNS. Uh, so I will say next to that. I'm going to set up an SSID uh, for clients right off of this AP. Uh, well, and all the all of the APs, all of the mesh APs are going to get the same one. And of course, you can set up more later, but um, we will just add that. So, and next that, uh, make sure you set your admin password, and you can set password recovery if you wish. And then uh, review, and we will just finish that. So it's going to reboot this AP. Uh, so it's going to configure it and then reboot it. Um, and so what we're going to do, so this is this is the master. Once this master comes up, uh, then 
I'm going to plug my my other APs into the same LAN uh, at the beginning, right? So for right now, I'm going to plug them into the same LAN so they're all going to get the same configuration off of the root AP or off of the master. Then I'm when when that's finished, I'm going to unplug those APs uh, and and deploy them out in their mesh configuration, so not wired to the root. Uh, and then they should mesh on their own because they've gotten the configuration already. So that's um, that's one way to do it. There's a, a couple of other ways to, to, to do mesh, but this is by far the easiest way. If you can physically have them in the same location, get them configured on the wire uh, off of that master, then split them off, this is the best way to do it. But we'll have a look at that when it reboots uh, coming up in a minute. So hold tight. Okay, so the uh, master has come back up, uh, and then after the master came back up, I then plugged the other two APs into the same switch uh, and had them had them join the um, the uh, Unleash network. So just like you would do in any Unleash network, they're all connected to the same wire, so that um, the member devices are going to get their configuration from the master. So we should see that if I log in now into the master I see my three APs uh, and I see a master and then I see two roots right they're listed as root um, it's complaining there's not enough power on one of them but um, it's listed as root uh, because they're connected to the same wire right if they were meshed then we would see those not listed as root but in fact listed as as members or as maps um, so th so the next thing I'm going to do from this point then is I'm going to now disconnect those two other APs these two here that you see listed as root um, and then uh, 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 we should see them. They're going to reboot, reboot, and they're going to then join the mesh. Um, so rather than saying root, they're going to say something else. So we will uh, we'll uh, go and do that, and then we'll see what it looks like when I get back. Okay, so uh, I have now uh, uh, disconnected the uh, two other APs from the switch. I've moved those out and deployed them in their proper location in the mesh. Um, and so they are not physically connected to each other at all, right? They're just connected, uh, well, they should be connected via, via uh, mesh. So we'll have a look at that. So if I expand out access points here again, um, I see there's three working. Um, and so I see a master or a root. Um, and then I see these guys, instead of them being listed as root, now they're both listed as mesh. So I can tell that they're not wired connected to the master. Um, the other interesting thing, if we go to summary here, you can show the mesh topology. And uh, so here's our root. So this is the device I'm connected to. And then here's my two members. You can see their signal and they're all in the same channel. And that's correct, even though you know, that may look incorrect. Um, the thing about mesh is that all the devices need to be on the same channel in order to communicate. So, um, you know, that makes sense. So we have uh, one root and then two members off of that. Um, if there was a different topology, so if this one was connected to this one, for example, rather than connected back to the root, um, then you would see that in the topology view or if there was a emap or whatever the case um, you would see that reflected in the topology view but best case scenario you want to keep your APs connected to uh, directly to the root or as close to the root as you can right the less number of hops you can put in certainly the better but really easy as that so you configure your root node um, uh, with mesh uh, and then um, plug the, all the APs into that same switch, let them configure themselves as you would with a normal unleashed environment. Then you unplug those and move them out to their, to their location and they will uh, then mesh from there. So you don't have to worry about what the mesh passphrase is and the SSID and all that because it got it from the, from the uh, master uh, when they configured themselves on the LAN. All right, so easy as that. And then we're going to cover zero touch mesh in the next one. So um, join us again. Take care.